All right, so we just came back to just a fantastic event over the last few weekends out there. Uh, we were in Phoenix uh, the one weekend speaking at a great conference, and then uh, about two weeks before, we were out there speaking at Denver just about all of the multifamily action we are taking, and it was so great to listen to so many um, people just speak about why they continue to be bullish, not only in 2022 and 2023, and why they see the, the roadmap of course, continue to carry on. So I made some notes here. I really want to talk to you again about some of the market insight. Now, of course, you have to have your own narrative of the market, right? And now every city, every market is not going to be the same. We're going to be at different parts of the cycle in different markets, right? So just understanding where do you fit in this puzzle? Where are you along your multifamily journey? But if you look at this runway, right, um, the, of course, founder and managing partner at Blackstone, um, they're very bullish out there. Right, so if you see the bigger partners here, so they, they really close on about trillions of dollars of real estate this year, right? Um, and they're very bullish on the build to rent market, right? They're seeing that the um, middle, really the middle family is continuing to be outpriced. And so they're going to be pushed again to have more renters and continue forward with that renter nation. Um, the demand is just gonna continue to push forward. Uh, Fannie Mae has said that we, we need about 1.62 million houses a year. And now that supply hasn't been met since all the way back in 2007. Um, we have a lot of other stressors coming on, right? So Gen Y, there's 72 million of them moving into the rental market. Gen Z, 68 million of them will be moving into the rental market. And estimated over the course of really 2021, last year to 2030, we need on average 1.55 million homes per year. And we're on pace for this timeline to build 11 million homes. So we're honestly, four or five million, dollar, million homes short of that expectation. That doesn't include the secondary homes, which of course are 500,000 new homes for secondary homes and 2.3 million homes that will be knockdowns based on just their condition, right? So if you look at that, I mean, that's just an amazing narrative to see that there is going to be more need because the supply is going to continue to be limited. Now, we really haven't seen this point here where so many people have been pushed to rent all the way back to really two parts. One was the Great Recession, right? So 43%, and that was back in 18, uh, so 18 to 29 year olds were renters. And now after World War II, we had 18 to 29% of renters. It was a 48% at that time. So if we look at this here, in 2020, 52% of that same group lived at home. So again, during World War II, 48% of that same group, 18 to 29 year olds lived at home. In, of course, uh, the Great Depression back in uh, 1929, 43% of that group lived at home. So they're gonna continue to now expand and wanna move out. And when they move out here, they're gonna be priced out of new homes. So you're gonna see the runway carry forward that they're gonna be pushed in the rental market. And that's really a built-in shadow demand of what's coming ahead of us. And it's gonna eventually really cause some disruption as we're already seeing just the push up in housing prices and really just increased rental demand. Now, that was Fannie Mae. Freddie Mac estimated here is that 2020 to 2030, we're gonna have 4 million homes in shortage. Um, the resale inventory is very low. Right now, we're at 0.8 months of supply meaning that if we stopped all building right now, basically in all, anything being listed, anything that was out there, anything coming to market, then in about three weeks, we would run out of all home supply. I mean, that, that's just a crazy narrative. Um, balanced, traditionally, is about four to five months. So you can see how much the stressors are on for the impact of why housing is being so expensive right now is because there's no supply. And this really continues to push up the occupancy rate, pushes up the rental rates, pushes up the property values, and that narrative is going to continue. So as we look forward here, you know, after 2012, there was, there was really just no housing units coming on, right? Because they, they got burnt. So we, we had a big downturn of houses and units being built that was really, um, a lot of people got burned in that time. So now we're playing catch up, right? We're trying to play catch up, but we're seeing this happen and we ran to the deficit that now we're gonna continue to carry forward to potentially even 2024, 2025, where we may even see a surplus in the amount of units we need per year, but we're still behind the pace, right? We're still well behind the pace. And now we're here down in Nashville and even that supply, where before we talked 0.8 month supply, we're only 0.7 month supply. So that's just incredible. 
So if you think about it, where is your market in the cycle? How is your market reacting? Because we're, we're feeling this, we're gonna to continue to feel the stress of that market. You're gonna see inflation have a big impact upon what's happening here. Of course, continue to push the narrative where uh, gas is gonna be more expensive. Of course, grocery can be more expensive. So it's gonna push up and make the cost of living on people that are already stuck paycheck to paycheck much more difficult. And you're gonna be impacted. We're gonna be forced to continue to rent. And now with us not being able to continue to carry forward to get as many units online, you're going to see just really supply remain, uh, supply remain very tight and demand remain very strong. All right, so that's what we got. We're really going to push forward to continue to see this as a very um, interesting market. But if you're out there finding properties, investing in multifamily, the runway is going to continue to carry forward at least to 2024, 2025 is really the opinion and the narrative that we heard out there as well. All right, like what you hear, go down there, hit that subscribe button. Great talk to you.